Casio G-Shock Japan just announced that they will be releasing new G-Shock watches, new series, new collaboration called Shichi Fukujin. Shichi in Japanese literally translated to number seven, so seven lucky gods. A quick introduction to all of this model, it is based on seven lucky god from Japanese mythology. All of these names, Ebisu, Benzai Ten, Hotei Son, Bishamon, Jurojin, Daikoku Ten, Fukuroku Ten are seven names, seven Japanese names for gods in Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism, and of course Shintoism. And we here have a guest, one of my pets who always crave for attention and always climb on top of this sweater each time I film this video, so just bear with me guys. The idea behind all of this god is that when you visit all of these seven gods shrine or worship all of them, seven type of disaster will be lifted off. For example, sun and moon related disaster, oblique to be eclipse, or strange incident, any strange incidents, windstorm or heavy flood or fire related drought or theft. All of these seven disaster will be lifted and replaced with seven types of fortunes since we are talking about religious and belief i would like to apologize in advance just in case i misinterpret anything or misinform anything if i do comment down below and correct me guys the artist toshikazu nozaka the artist a skateboarder at the same time an artist a very very weird combination but regardless he is a great one and he modernized all of this art or all this god related art and associated them with seven youth culture that Castle G-Shock have been promoting a lot ever since they started promoting this brand at all and that is the surfing culture or the uh, DJ music thing, skateboard, snowboard, BMX and also uh, if I was again street style football and one more would be the break dance so all of this seven culture is a famous culture that Castle G-Shock always been promoting in I believe to be most of their product as well I really wish they would add one more, probably a YouTuber, a videographer, a photographer like me into this family as well. It's gonna be very, very cool. G-Shock, hit me up. Anyway guys, back to this series. We're gonna have a look at seven different models, seven different G-Shock watch model associated with seven different gods. And all of them will be associated with seven different culture at the same time. And if you collect all of these seven models, and turn on the EL backlighting, a G-Shock word, G-S-H-O-C-K word will light on and then spells out G-Shock. So you're gonna need to collect all of them. But regardless, if you can't collect all of them, let me share to all of you guys the story, the idea behind each and every one of these G-Shock watches so you will understand and pick by yourself which one suits to your belief or suits to your taste the most. Let's begin by talking about the first god and that is the Ebisu which was associated with G7900 reference number G7900SLG stands for 7 lucky god like literally and it came based in red mixing with rose gold accents which is the colors of the sea brim that the god always holding if you look at the artwork you will see that the god will always uh, depicted with a man holding a rod, a fishing rod, and also a sea brim at the same time. So this god often related to the god of great catch and business and prosperity. So I can understand why they associate this god with this G-Shock watch because this model is indeed one of the most practical models out there. Very very useful because it does have the tight graph and moon face function built in it. At the same time the price aren't as high anyway so this is a really really good model to be based on and they also associated this models and this god with the surfing or uh, extreme sport as well. Gross gold highlights sea brim scale design on the watch band which water wave symbol on the watch band and also a sea brim literally an image of a sea brim in rosco on the watch band keeper so everything is representing very nicely very correctly and well made by the artist i have a feeling that this video will be very long so bear with me guys i'm literally reviewing seven g-shock watches in one videos Let's proceed to the next one which is the only baby G on this G-Shock watches and it is associated with the only 
goddess in all of these seven lucky god and she's called the Benzai Ten which is a Japanese name for a Hindu god called Saraswati which originated from holy river in India so that's explain why this baby G will came based in full pink bright pink colorway with coral pattern to associate it with water and music instrument as well since this god is also considered to be the god of knowledge art beauty music language wisdom poetry and water as always there will be two main symbol on the watch and this time will be water and coral if i'm not mistaken if you look at the artwork you will see that the artist associated this g-shock watch this goddess with the music dj team so it fits very well in my opinion it is a baby g square models classic timepiece and i mean match very well with the whole idea so can't complain much over there Meeting up with the third god on the list is called Ho Tei Song, which is god of happiness, good health from Buddhism. At the same time, also considered to be the only human out of all of these seven gods. He is also considered to be guardian of all the children, and that's explain why the artwork consists of a lot of children playing ball. In this case, football of freestyle football, which the uh, culture that this artist is at the same time associating this god with. Moving to the G-Shock watch, W5600 model will be based in grey, which is a new colorway as well. And it features a lot of pattern on the watch band and bezel, consists of the stuff that the gods always portrayed with, pine tree wooden stuff, and also pine tree leaves, and also cloth bag as well. It's literally what the art are all about. Everything was portrayed into the watch band and bezel. If you look really closely, you will be able to see it. If you look really closely to the watch band, there is pine tree leaf symbol on the watch band and a traditional fan on the watch band keeper, which is a fan that usually will be used to calling in luck. So that's pretty interesting as well. Meeting up with the fourth god on the list is the Bishamong Ten. A god that defend the northern part of India, a fearful god of warriors, one of the four gods that defend Buddhism at the same time. So I could understand why they picked DW6900 as a model to be associating this god with because of how many the tasks and responsibility that this god has. He is very fearful that even demons are afraid of him as being portrayed in the artwork. You could literally see demons are scared of him and a lot of kids playing skateboards which is literally the culture that the artist is associating this goddess with as well. If you look on the G-Shock watch, it will be based on the dark jelly watch band and bezel which is pretty interesting matching with rose gold accents with the warrior suit that the god is wearing the scale armor will be used as a pattern on top of the watch band as well so it's pretty interesting if you look really closely as well there's the face of the god as well the fearful face in on the watch band and also one more symbol of the treasure chest on the watch band keeper that you could also see in the artwork as well if you look really closely Meeting up with the next god on the list is called Dai Kokuten. A quick note, Dai in Japanese equals big, Koku in Japanese equals black. So you could understand why Castle G-Shock picked a King G-Shock watch to associate it with this god. GXW56 SLG model. By the way, Dai Kokuten is a Japanese name for Hindu god Makahala, god of wealth, merchant, and trade almost similar to Abisu god as well. This is the god that give wealth and protect crops. And that's explain why you will see a black G-Shock watch king model with some olive green accents to represent the crops and also a little bit of rose gold to represent the wealth. And also mouse symbol on the watch band, golden mallet and at the same time golden nugget as well to represent wealth. And since he's protecting crops, so you will be seeing mouse alongside the artwork as well since, I mean, there's a lot of foods. So of course, the mouse will be hunting for food from him. Next model on the list will be the DW-5700 SLG aka the Ju Rojin model, a Japanese name for God of Longevity in Taoism. 
I believe. This is a classic series G-Shock Watch 5700 model, will be based full white colorway with pitch and scroll pattern, literally fruit and a scroll on top of the watch band and bezel as the design pattern. And if you look closely on the symbol on the watch band and bezel as well, there will be a pitch fruit on top of it and also a scroll on the watch band keeper, both of which for the fruits will represent longevity, which is the gods all about, and the scroll will be the scroll that the god always portrayed to be carrying around with that contains the lifespan of all living being. So that's explained the design, and at the same time, this god is also known to be the old man of the South Pole. Ju Rojin, if I'm not mistaken, literally, Rojin literally means old man in Japanese. So that's explained it as well. And since South Pole, that explained the white colorway. And I'm guessing they will associate this god, this watch, this series with snowboard sport. Last but not least is the GBD-800. Obviously, Casio will use this model in the collaboration model since this is a new addition to the G-Squad series. This will be called the Fuku Rokujin model, which is a god of happiness as well and at the same time god of longevity from Chinese Taoism, similar to the one that I just mentioned just now. And they will base this G-Shock watch in green, light pale green with some silver pattern on the watch pen and bezel so that's pretty interesting in my opinion the colorway does reminds me of the jade stone so i like it a lot and it combines silver and green so you know green silver the color theme of my main logo on the whole channel as well so i have a feeling this will be my favorite out of the bunch and they will feature symbol on the watch band consisting a crane and also a tortoise symbol which both will represent longevity. I'm not really sure how the entire pattern will be like because there are no uh, HD a good image of these models yet but regardless you will have a rough idea already how the watch will look like green and silver. So for now that sums up all seven lucky god. I hope you guys found this video a little bit useful, informative and entertaining as well. I will talk about all of this very model as soon as they are released which will be in upcoming few months. So stay tuned for all those, but for now, that is it. Thank you very, very much for watching. This is G-Shark High Fashion Channel, and I'm